Most people don't spend a lot of time worrying about their nails beyond a manicure every now and then or clipping them, but they can show signs of real trouble. So you could develop melanoma of the nails. The risk, the signs to look out for could actually save your life. When Peggy Waters' thumbnail split open, she didn't think much of it. I just put a Band-Aid down around it to, to pull the two sides together, um, but I didn't really think anything about it. Fast forward a year and a half, and she is being treated for melanoma under her nail. It's rare, but it happens. About 1% of all melanomas occur under and around the nail, um, and it varies a bit by ethnicity. So the darker your skin, uh, the fewer melanomas you have in general, but the more likely they are to occur under and around the nail. Dr. Phoebe Rich says nail melanomas are generally painless, which is a problem because people aren't aware anything is happening. There are signs to look for, though. The most common sign is a pigmented stripe in the nail. It starts as a brown or black or even gray band in the nail that starts at the cuticle and runs out to the free edge of the nail. Or the nail might split, like Peggy's did. By then, the melanoma might have spread. UV light and sunburn plays very little role. What's more important is family history. Um, they generally occur in people over age 50, although we see them in all age groups. A history of nail trauma is also a factor. The most common digits to get it are the thumb and big toenail. If you diagnose them early and get them off early, um, there's a very, very good chance of cure. But if you let them go and they remain undetected and undiagnosed, they're almost always fatal. They can be diagnosed during an exam with magnification and special polarized light, and in some cases, a biopsy. Peggy says she'll never wait again to see if she has issues with her nails. If I see something strange that's happening on my skin, I get it checked immediately. Treatment might include removing the nail or in extreme cases taking off the finger or the toe tip. It is important to have regular examinations with a dermatologist and point out any changes you notice in your nails.